Hey, good morning. Welcome to the Jeep Solid Garage. Today's a super exciting day. We're finally there. Today is paint day. After hours and hours, days of preparation, I am finally there. I picked the color. We're gonna be laying some paint today. Let's get to it. If you guys are interested in checking out my other videos of how I set up my shop as a paint booth, that'll be linked in the description below. This is a 1992 Jeep Wrangler YJ. It's all primed, ready to go. I actually have three layers of primer on it right now. And then I hit it with some maroon Scotch-Brite pads just to kind of scuff it up a little bit. Got everything rinsed off. Do one final hit with a tack cloth before we start painting. So this is the final step before we paint. And man, there was a lot of steps going in to get and prepped for paint. Hours and hours of work. But the tack cloth here, it's just gonna pick up any last little bits of debris, any little bits of lint, cause that'll just uh, stick to the paint and create a little nubbin that you don't want. So just wipe everything down real quick and we'll be good to go. All right, gonna set my gun up here. So this is a, uh, High volume, low pressure, gravity feed gun. So I want the pressure about 32 with the trigger fully depressed here. So let's set this up real quick. All right, here we've got our paint, our uh, reducer and our activator. We're gonna be mixing all this at a four to one to one ratio. So on my bucket here, I've got it marked four to one to one. So we're gonna go up to that three with the paint, then the uh, reducer and then the activator. Alrighty, this is a big moment. Are you guys excited? What color did I pick? Wonder if the thumbnail gave it away. You excited, Amanda? Mm -hmm. See what this looks like? Here we go. Whoa, <laughs> look at that. That's what do you think? I love that. That's gonna be bright. So wow, yeah, this is definitely bright. That's what I wanted. I wanted bright with a little bit of that burnt orange in it. Wanted something to stand out. And honestly, my plan is this bright orange, a little bit of burnt look to it, and then a lot of black accents, like the hinges. Uh, I'm gonna put some tube doors on it, black bumpers. So bright orange with a lot of black accents. I think it'll look pretty cool. I'm gonna mix it up here a little bit and get my respirator on and start painting. And you can save yourself tons of money painting yourself, but it's still not super cheap. This one gallon of paint, you gotta guess how much it was? Leave a comment down below. Let me know before I tell you here what your guess is. One gallon of automotive paint. You know how much? $400. Actually like $399 or $398. $400 for one gallon, that's a lot cheaper than paying somebody $8,000, $10,000 to paint a vehicle for you. I should do a video, I'll probably do that in the future. What did it cost for me to paint my Jeep? Uh, not, not super cheap, but uh, not near as expensive as having somebody do it for you. All right, here we are a few days later. Turned out really good, but I definitely learned some things. Let me show you. And gosh, I look super orange in this. And that's, I think it's just a reflection off the Jeep because it is orange. But man, the sticky dust from the spray, it gets everywhere, absolutely everywhere. So I am so glad I tarped off the my garage floor. My shoes are just covered. It gets on everything. It's just like this sticky, dusty powder cover everything up. But I'm super happy with how the Jeep turned out. I think it looks just great. Looks like Tootsie snuck in here, but that's fine. Everything's dry, except the hood. That turned out just awful. I'm not exactly sure why, kind of a funny story. So I started, I actually, you know, did a little practice test on the cardboard, kind of got down my spray pattern. There's, you know, some drips there with just uh, adjusting the gun. So once I got it figured out, I started painting the back side of the hood. That's a good place to start. You know, uh, inconspicuous area, we'll start there. Sprayed the back of the hood, came out just great. The hood looks awesome. 
at least the bottom of it. Then I came around to the front side of the hood and started spraying that and it just all went wrong. As you can see, I only put uh, one coat on here because I knew immediately that I messed it up. You can see these drip marks there. There's some drip marks down there. That's, that was just practicing there. I, at that point, I knew I'd really messed up the hood. So I gave it just one quick coat. I'm not sure if I bumped one of the settings on my gun uh, or what happened, because the backside went just great. Moved around here, got that one coat on. As, well, as soon as I started this coat, I was getting runs. I don't know what happened. So I decided, well, I'm just gonna scrap the top of the hood. I'm gonna obviously have to resand this, redo it. So I moved back to the uh, cardboard, adjusted my gun, got it where I wanted it. Then I moved on to the Jeep and the Jeep turned out really good. Right now, yes, there is a lot of orange, but I'm gonna be putting a lot of black accents on it. Uh, the fender flares, so front and rear bumper, the hinges, the top. There's gonna be a lot of black accents with it and I think the black and orange together is gonna look really nice. But the paint, you know, my paint job, I'm pretty darn pleased with it for my first paint job. Pretty happy with how this turned out. I wasn't going for perfect bodywork or anything. You know, it's a Jeep. There's like a little uh, warbly, little crinkly area down there, but hey, I'm not worried about it. I just wanted it cleaned up and looking nice. I think I achieved that. And back over here on the hood, if you guys can even see those little, are those little fish eyes? Those are just little clear spots where the paint didn't cover super well. If we zoom in here, those little spots. I'm not sure if that's too much air, not enough paint, what was going on there? But uh, yeah, the hood is obviously messed up, needs to be redone. If you guys know what these little uh, little spots are, little pimples, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think those are and what caused that. So I'm, overall, I'm super happy with how this turned out. A little bummed that I gotta redo the hood, but hey, it's a learning process. That's how you get better. You try things, you mess stuff up, you redo it, you get better at it. That's part of uh, working on restoring a Jeep, doing any kind of repair project. You're gonna, you're not gonna get it perfect the first time every time. So it's how you learn and get better. So doing the top of the hood, I'm not super concerned about that. I'm just gonna sand it down with some 220 and uh, that'll be pretty easy to get rid of these runs and respray it. And that's the only thing I have to respray. So pretty pleased with that. So let's uh, pull a lot of the plastic off this Jeep, get a better look at it. I'll roll it out of the garage here, out of the shop. So when I'm sanding the hood here, I don't get dust all over everything again. I'll roll the Jeep outside and we'll take a better look at it. All right, it is the morning of the next day. Got my coffee, still in my pajamas, but let's check out the work. It turned out great. Super happy with the redo on the hood. Let's check the Jeep out as well. So the hood is drying. Uh, looks great though. Not absolutely perfect. There's a few little, little tiny nubbin like right there. But overall, much, much better than it was. Super happy with how this is turning out. I think it's gonna look great. Let's go check the Jeep out. And there it is. What do you think? It is definitely gonna be noticeable going down the road. I'm gonna be adding some uh, black fender flares, black decal on the side. It'll have a black top. So a lot of black accents. Obviously the hinges, the cowl vent there. Starting to look really good. I am super happy with how this turned out. I'm also gonna go with some black tube doors. Those are gonna be awesome for summertime. So yeah, super happy with how this turned out. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys thinks. What you guys thinks. Check out my next video right here. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.